Morning guys, how you going? I'm Isky, welcome to my YouTube video. And this is my home cinema that I'm slowly building. And it's coming along, it's looking really good. I'm very happy with the progress, although it could be a little bit faster. And um, today we are gonna be doing some more of it. Although we are not going to be building, we are going to be scrapping. We're gonna be scrapping these TVs because these TVs have some parts in them, vital parts for my build. <laughs> this build is gonna be completely different to most builds. Um, obviously, I'm a dump rat. I like recycling and um, using stuff that other people would throw away. Now, have a look over here. I'm at the stage where I really wanna build my riser. I really seriously wanna get into the riser, but the thing is, I'm running out of space and these TVs are in the way. I had planned on fixing these TVs. They've been here for, oh, I've had them for a, you know about a year and a half now, these TVs. They're in the way, I'm just gonna get rid of them. They've all got LED backlight failures. So the panels are bad, the screens are good, the boards are good, but the panels are bad. And honestly, I used to fix the panels, but I don't anymore, there's too much of a hassle. What I've, I've been waiting for other TVs to come across come along that have cracked screens and I was actually going to pull the screens, good screens off these TVs and put them on those other TVs. But um, no, I'm not going to do that anymore. I've changed my mind. Uh, what we are going to do is actually pull parts out of this and I'll show you what the parts are that we need. Um, for a start, let's have a look over here. Look down here in this box. I'm slowly collecting these things. These are diffusers. These go over the um, bulbs in a TV and they help diffuse the light and they kind of make it so that the light isn't sharp and so that the light isn't kind of pinpointing through the TV screen. And uh, what we're gonna be using those for are these. These, I'm just, at the moment, I'm planning out my acoustic um, diffusers and these will come off the wall. I think they're gonna be all red um, speaker material. Um, I'm going to have a speaker where that one is there. Um, but I want to have LED lights that go around the perimeter so it's going to be kind of going around the edge. But I don't want to have a bulb. I don't want to have bulb, 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 bulb shining through. I want it to be like a complete line, continuous kind of bulb uh, light if you know, if you kind of get what I'm saying. So that's why I want those diffuser diffusers for the bulbs. And not just that, I also want to get, if you have a look at this TV over here, this is a TV I actually made into a light. So I can actually turn this TV on and that entire white, um, <laughs> um, it's actually acrylic and it is milky like that, like that frost color, that's how they come. Um, I've basically just taken the screen off so I can plug that in and turn it on and it's this big light. But the thing is, I really love this stuff. I want more of these. I've been collecting these. I've got dozens of them already, but I need more. Um, in fact, the ones that I've got are mainly clear and I really like these milky ones because I need a lot of those because I need those for my Starfield ceiling. Up the top there, you can see there I'm making a Starfield ceiling. Well, it, it, this is like no other Starfield ceiling you've seen. Um, I have kind of got this idea in my head. I think after 20 years of me thinking about it, I've come up with a way to have realistic looking nebulas on double velvet or triple velvet, the plushiest, darkest velvet that you can get. Um, I think I have actually come up a way to get nebulas and we'll go into that a bit later, but that actually requires getting a bunch of these things here. And um, yeah, anyway, anyway, that's the plan. Today we are going to be stripping these TVs for parts. Obviously I'm gonna keep all the boards. Who knows, later on down the track, I'll probably find some TVs that need just, you know, boards replaced. That's a lot easier than fixing a panel, that's for sure. And if that happens, I'll have the boards and I'll just slip a board in and I'll have a good TV. But for now, these are getting in the way. I want to get these, two, so there's two reasons for doing this. One, to get these out of the way so I can actually 
start my riser. I can move these chairs forward, move the carpet forward. But in doing that and doing, you know, scrapping these, I'm also getting really cool parts out of these to help with my build as well. So I'm not looking at it as though I'm losing something. I'm kind of looking at it as though I'm kind of recycling and gaining some really cool, cool things. All right, so we're going to start with these two small TVs. I've had these lying around for ages. In fact, I was going to fix these. The one at the back um, um, had, just needs a new board. And this one here, the first one, um, has a bad panel. In fact, those diffusers that I showed you, all of those ones in this box over here, they actually, with LG TVs, it happens all the time. I've actually just made a video where these fall off. These are, LG are the worst backlit TVs you can buy. Well, with this TV here, the front one is a prime example. If I lifted that up and if I shake it all around, you will actually hear them floating around inside. And if I turn that on, you would see all of these pinpoints of light. I've probably got examples. I might even stick one on the screen now um, of me turning on a TV and you can see just all these pinpoints of light because the diffusers have fallen off the bulbs. So that's a really good example. So it's actually quite cool. We're gonna be pulling all the diffusers out of both of these TVs and using them in my acoustic panels for my walls. But um, there we go. Listen, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm just gonna set you up somewhere. We're gonna do a time lapse. I'll probably bring you back in key parts of this video just to show you some stuff. We'll collect some really cool parts and we'll kind of count them all up right at the end and see what we got. All right, let's get into it. All right, so I'm kind of pissed off. I just realized that um, I was recording all of that. I've kind of sc I've stripped both of those small TVs and I basically realized just now that you haven't been listening to me because my lav mic, my wireless lav mic has been turned off all that time. So what I'm gonna quickly do is just go over this again. Um, I just wanted to show you these. This is actually two TVs. Um, put together so 
Now with the TV behind the screen, you've got a few different layers. You've got this layer here. This is just like an opaque type of diffusion layer. It's just a normal bit of plastic. But then you have one or two of these things called Fresnel lenses. These are really cool, these things. Like, look at this. You can probably see my fingers before they even go behind that bit of plastic. There you go. Well, it's not actually the best example. Yeah, they um, basically refract the light. They do all these really cool things. They basically make the light look like it's actually distant. And that's a good thing considering these bulbs behind the screen are so close to the screen. That's the whole idea of these things here. So that's cool. So we got two of these. And the cool thing is I will actually be using these in my build. If you have a look on my wall again over here, can you see those small little diamond square things? I'm actually going to be making LED lights there. And I want those lights to be like a four-way type of light and I want them to kind of be really really directional I want them to kind of shoot out of each side and I think I will be able to do that using these um, lenses um, I'll stick a picture on the screen kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about I think I can make those for basically a couple of bucks each um, using this stuff so that's a cool thing so if we get past those Fresnel lenses then we get to then we get to this and that's our bit of acrylic I'll be collecting these things for my starfield ceiling but I also need these for my acoustic diffusers as well but, um, they're cool parts they're really cool parts so I'm gonna put those aside store these and I will throw all of that stuff out uh, not to mention, I've already added to my box um, the diffusers that came out of these, so that's cool as well. And these boards over here, they're the boards that I know were actually good. So I'll hold on to those in case I come across another TV that just needs a simple board swap. But um, well, that's it. Let's um, get back into it. Do a couple, we'll start some of these bigger TVs. Now these ones here, these first ones that I do, these have a different type of um, backlight system they are not directly behind the screen these this is what we call um, edge lighting so there's a kind of an edge it's almost like a strip lighting it's basically light bulbs hundreds of them along one edge sometimes they're on the top edge the bottom edge sometimes they're on all of the edges but um, we're not really interested in the LEDs they're kind of useless unfortunately but uh, we do want the um, acrylic that's inside. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not sure if I do need the acrylic out of these ones because this is the clear acrylic ones and I've got heaps of those. So what I might do is actually just pull the boards out of these because the um, these first three TVs here do not have those bulb diffusers in them. So I'm just gonna quickly pull the boards out of these because I know the boards are good, it's just that the panels are bad. So I'll just pull the boards out of these and save me some time, get rid of these, and then we'll get on to these larger ones because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that most of these have um, those diffusers that I just showed you and I definitely need tons of those. But uh, let me quickly scrap these first three, get back to you.
Right, finally we finished. It's all done. All of those TVs that were sitting over there, apart from one, are now gone. And the space we're left with, you guys don't really notice it, but for me, it feels like this room is 25% larger. It's brilliant. And uh, what we have left is our booty. This is all the stuff that we've pulled out of those TVs that I'll be using in my home theater build. Let's have a look. So we got all our boards. So these boards could go into uh, other TVs that I might score and fix. TVs that just require, you know, a board replacement. We've got some legs, we've got a generic stand, we've got our Fresnel lenses, and we got this cool thing. This is that bit of Perspex out of that um, uh, TCL TV. And that's exactly what I'm after. You can see how thin that is that's going to be nice and light and that there folks is going to go on our starfield ceiling when i build the ceiling that is going to go on there and uh, i'll tell you about that in a future video but that is going to enable us to get some nebulas really realistic looking nebulas um, thanks to that stuff and the stuff that i'm actually using on my ceiling in fact, if we have a look behind my acoustically transparent screen, or the screen frame, you can see that wall, that white wall. I need enough of that Perspex acrylic to line that entire wall. It's like five and a half meters by two and a half meters. And yeah, I need enough to you know, put on there because I'm gonna be doing um, an amazing um, feature wall behind my screen. It's going to be called a Tron slash Borg wall. I'm not sure yet. But um, if you've seen the Borg out of Star Trek, if you've ever seen their spaceship, the Cube, I want my feature wall behind my screen to look exactly like that. So it's a cool thing. But um, oh, almost forgot these things. You know the um, diffusers? Have a look at this. Check this out. I've got even more of these, so that's a really cool thing. In fact, these ones are amazing. Like the LG and all the good quality TVs have amazing ones. Check this out. These are the ones you just saw me taking off that TCL TV. I was flicking them off with the screwdriver. Um, look at how cheap they are. They're just tiny little crappy ones. Honestly, I was excited when I first saw them because there were so many of them, but I don't think I can use them because they're just so small. Um, I can't really stick them onto the strip lighting. In fact, I'll show you what I want to do. I've actually got a bit of strip lighting here. You can see the strip lighting. You've probably seen a bunch of this stuff before. What I want to do with this, let me grab some of these ones. I will eventually be putting these over the top of each one of these LEDs, like so. The cool part about these ones is they're kind of you know, dug out down there. So these actually do fit over these LEDs. These ones here, they, they, they're not really. But um, I can glue these ones down. And once these are glued down, all I need to do is cover them with a thin strip of that stuff, maybe two layers. And then I will put them in my lights around the perimeter and we will get some really, really cool effects. I want a straight light. I don't want to see, the thing I'm trying to avoid is seeing individual light bulbs shine through. I want a line, you know what I'm saying? So I think we're on a winner. I'm gonna be doing some tests in the future. So keep an eye out for those. So that's exciting. 
But um, for now, hey, what do you say? We go and have a quick look in the back of the van and uh, have a look at all the crap that I've tossed in there. I'm about to take it to the dump and then we'll end this video. Check this out. There we go. Look at all of that. All of those TVs. They heaps of them. And we have a washing machine down there. Glass door there. But uh, there you go. Look at that. That's all going to the dump. Awesome. Anyway, guys, I'm going to call it. I'd like to say thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll. See you on the next one.